my name's Charlotte and welcome to Crafting with Character, the series where I invite one of my friends over and we show you how to create a fun craft that you might want to try at home with things that you should have around the house. So without any further ado, shall we see who my friend is today? Hi, thank you so much for having me today, Charlotte. I can't wait to do some crafts. <laughs> do you know what we're making? I think we might be making some origami. That's right. So, origami is the Japanese art of folding paper, and today I thought you might like to learn how to make some butterflies. That's so, look so a little cool. bit like this. So, all you need to do is you need to have some paper. We have paper that's pre cut, it's six by six. So make sure you find an adult who can cut it six by six for you and it can be plain paper that maybe you can draw a design on or it can be coloured paper or even if you have some wrapping paper left over from Christmas. Oh that's birthday. creative. And all of your butterflies can have different designs. So let's pick our paper. Which colour are you going to go for? I think I'm going to have to go for this purple right here. It's beautiful. It matches your dress. It does match my dress. And I think I'm going to go for blue. That's a really good color. It's like the sky. It is. So, now that you've got your paper, you need to place it in front of you. Now, can you spin it so it kind of looks like a diamond, so there's a point pointing towards you and a point pointing, pointing away from you. Now, take the point that is pointing towards you. This one? Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. And fold it right opposite. Oh, so, so we're making a triangle. So you're making a big, big ah. triangle, that's right. And you want to fold that, and you want to fold it. You want to make sure that it's folded pretty good. So it should look like this. So then what you need to do is you need to open it and place it back on the table. And then spin it round. And we're going to do exactly the same. So the point closest to you to the point furthest away from you. So your crosses, you should have a cross in the middle. Oh just like that and you want to fold that again make sure that fold is really in there good job yeah. and you open it and you should have a type of pyramid can you see that yeah perfect so now what we need to do is mm -hmm. we need our pyramid to be pointing up mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're now going to fold again but Ooh. we're going to fold flat edge to flat edge oh okay so, so make sure like a rectangle this time Yes, yeah, we're going to fold it from a square to a rectangle. So make sure you've got the flat edge next to you, in front of you, and you're going to fold that straight over. Ooh. There we go, try and make it as neat as you possibly can. And then open it for me, and then swivel your paper around again. So you've got the other flat edge near you, and now you're going to fold it the other way. So once you open it, you'll kind of have the lines making a star. Does that make sense? Yeah. One that way, one that way, one that way, one that way. Make sense? I can't believe you've never done this. I know, with all of my time in the tower, I really should have took up origami. Instead, I just baked and I, I read a lot of books. But you did a lot of other things. I did do a so. lot of other things. So perfect. So now you have a shape that kind of looks like this. So make sure it points up. Perfect. Now what we're going to do, this one is a little bit tricky, so you okay. might need to have some help with this, but we sort of need to collapse it in on itself so it looks like a triangle like this. Okay. So the best I'm gonna watch you first. The best way to do this is to take the edges like this and kind of push it together like that. Wow! So when okay. you have it like this. In like that. Does that make sense? I think so. And then push that end in there. Push that fold in. <gasps> Just like that? Just like that, good job! So then you have this. So, should we open it up and show our friends one more time? Yeah. So you have the pyramid pointing up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. Ooh. Ooh. There we go! Good job. Perfect, so make sure it looks like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the flat end pointing towards us mm -hmm. and the, the pointiest end of all the pointy ends facing that way. It's now, the safest way. It is the safest way. You don't want anything pointy pointing at you. You don't want to get any paper cuts, no. do you? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this wing. Make sure you don't take the whole thing. Make sure you just take the top layer. And we want to fold it towards 
the pointy edge. The pointy edge, but you don't want to bring it straight into the center. You want to make sure, so if the center line is here, you have a gap probably about that big. So yeah. leave that. Well done, just like that. And now you want to do the same on the other side. So it should look like that. Perfect, well done. That's a lot of triangles. It is a lot of triangles. So, should look like this. The, air, the side that you've just folded, place it down on the table. And then you want to take the edge that is pointing away from you mm -hmm. and put it all the way back towards you. And really, really push that fold down, just like that. And you make it. sure that the pointy end that was pointing away overlaps, so you should be left with that. Can you see how it overlaps? And it kind of looks like a boat. Oh, it does. A yeah. boat with legs. <laughs> a boat with legs, that's right. So, we've now done that. Can you flip it over again for me? Perfect. Now this little bit here, I like to call it the butterfly's nose. The butterfly's nose? That's so cute. So we're gonna take that little bit, we're gonna take mm -hmm. the butterfly's nose and we're gonna fold it away from us. Okay, we wanna fold it that way. So it should look like that. Can you see how it's folded that way? And then we are almost done. So now what you wanna do is, can you see the fold line here? Can you see this middle line here? Mm -hmm. Try and fold it back in on itself. So we're folding it in half. Effectively, yeah. And then just push down, push down these little bits. Push out these little bits. That's right, push down and push out. And then if you let go, you have a butterfly. Put it on your hand. There we go, you see? I do it! Yours is just a little bit smaller than mine. Yours is like a baby butterfly and mine is like a mummy butterfly. We all need baby butterflies and mummy butterflies. No? That's right, and I have been doing this longer than you have. You have. This is the first time I've done it. And so how good is that? If you find it a little tricky, that's fine. I found it a little tricky. But look at the end result. I wish I learned how to do this when I was in my tower. You could have made lots Ooh, and lots of butterflies. I could have. So as we'd said, now you can maybe color in the wings if you want, if you have some glitter or some gems. Or some paint. Or some paint, that's right. Or maybe even some feathers. Ooh, you creative. You can those on there. Or if you get an adult to help you, they can get a needle and thread and you can put it through the main body and attach some string. And then if it's weighted correctly. And then it looks like it's flying. That's right. Just like that. And then you can hang it from somewhere. You could hang them all above your bed so that all the butterflies are above you when you sleep. That would be a wonderful idea. That would. I love that. So that is how you make a little origami butterfly. If you've made them, we would love to see what they look like. So send us an email and I'll make sure that I can show you the pictures. Do send them to me. I'll make sure that I send them on to you. And enjoy making your butterflies.